welcome to gs with harvey from today we are going to start art and culture subject which is a very important topic generally asked in various competitive examination especially upsc ssc and state civil service examinations for this the reference book for the basic fundamentals will be the ncert fine arts of class 11th so let's begin the very first chapter we are going to discuss here is the prehistoric rock paintings so the first thing comes in our mind that what is prehistoric times so if we uh, need to discuss or define the prehistoric times these are the distant past when there was no paper or language or the written word and hence no books or written documents that is there is no history preserved or they, this is not in uh, preserved anywhere in the any form so this these times or this type of time is known as prehistoric times where there is no documentation so the next question is how we come no come to know across that these prehistoric times or prehistoric things discovered by the human beings the these the places of the prehistoric times were exactly or basically found by the excavation at the places brought by uh, like light old tools uh, like pottery habitats in the excavation uh, the excavators got the bones of ancient human beings and animals and drawings on the cave walls in this chapter we will basically focus on the drawings on the cave walls that and through through the drawings on the walls of the caves we will try to understand how the culture and how the art of the india was evolved from the prehistoric times that means there was the no history written of the that those time periods so uh, what happened actually when the basic need of food water and clothing were fulfilled the people of the prehistoric times or i will say the of the paleolithic time felt that that they need to express themselves so uh, they started drawing on the walls of the caves so we define prehistoric period we will study the this chapter in the prehistoric period development of art in the prehistoric period so we define prehistoric period in into different three heads that is paleolithic age mesolithic age and chalcolithic age so we will uh, know the different terms and different meanings of paleolithic age and we will try to understand how the uh, art evolved during these times we generally categorize drawings and paintings into seven historical periods we will study first three periods here and the period 1 is categorized under upper paleolithic age the period 2 is mesolithic and period 3 is chalcolithic after period 3 there are four successive periods as well but we will confine ourselves up to part 3 so let me repeat it once again the period 1 is upper upper paleolithic period 2 is mesolithic and period 3 is chalcolithic so prehistoric era art denotes the art which was basically paintings on the caves uh, on the wall of the caves and these are generally known as rock paint rock painting uh, rock painting evolved during the these ages of paleolithic mesolithic and chalcolithic so uh, we begin with paleolithic age art the what is the paleolithic age art the pal- the prehistoric period in the early development of human beings is commonly known as old stone age or paleolithic age so paleolithic age is also known as old stone age and uh, the paleolithic period if we look at the division of paleolithic period the there are the following divisions the paleolithic p- 
period can be divided into three parts that is lower paleolithic middle paleolithic and upper paleolithic we should not get confused uh, between the between the divisions of the historical periods like earlier i told that the drawings and paintings we have categorized the drawing and painting paintings into seven historical periods but out of these seven historical periods we will study the only three that is upper paleolithic mesolithic and chalcolithic but now what i am saying is that the under the paleolithic period it was divided into three parts three phases or we can say uh, those were lower paleolithic middle paleolithic and upper paleolithic and uh, out of the three we will only study the upper paleolithic is because we did not get any evidence of paintings from the lower and middle paleolithic age so what is the duration of upper paleolithic age the upper paleolithic age uh, is defined under 40000 years to 10000 years ago these time periods are known as upper paleolithic period in the upper paleolithic period there was a proliferation of artistic activities like uh, subjects of early works and the early works were confined to simple human figures human activities geometric designs and symbols the early man used to represent or draw on the walls of the caves in the form of uh, human figures or they used to uh, draw the activities of the humans or also they used to represent animal or person through any geometrical figures in the figure uh, we can see that uh, how the they used to draw on the walls this is one of the drawing taken from the caves from the vimetka caves now let's move to next thing the first discovery of rock paintings the first discovery of rock paintings in world was made in india in 1867 to 68 by the name archaeologist archibald carlyle and this was this happened actually before the discovery of altamira in spain what is altamira in spain altamira is a place or site of oldest rock paintings in the world altamira is a one of the oldest rock paintings in india if we look or if we discuss about the location where it it is found it has been found on the walls of caves it is actually found in the several districts of maharashtra madhya pradesh uttar pradesh telangana bihar karnataka and uttarakhand so let's let's just look at the some of the earliest examples of rock paintings like if we if we discuss about the sites in the, in the districts like in the telangana in kupgallu and in karnataka it's pikli hal bimetka in jogimara in mp and lakhudiyar in uttarakhand these are one of the sites of early rock paintings so uh, let's move to uh, the next that uh, the paintings found here in the early uh, in the early in the early in the early rock paintings the paintings found in the early rock paintings can be divided into three categories that is man animal and geometric symbols look at the figure uh, these are the some of the examples now the rock shelters on the banks of the river suyal at lakhudiyar is very important lakhudiyar is in the uttarakhand and this these sites bear these kind of historic paintings which comprises of the man animal and geometric symbols lakhudiyar is actually literally meant 1 lakh caves now some of the characteristics of these early paintings are if we look at the features the one of one is the one uh, very prominent feature of the early paintings is that they used to represent human beings in a stick like form they used to draw 
stick like form and the, uh, they declared or they represented them as a human being and uh, a long snouted animal they also used to draw a fox a multi legged lizard and uh, the main animal motifs in the early paintings but with the invent of time the many other animals were also came into picture some other features also suggest that they used to draw the wavy lines or rect and uh, rectangular filled geometric designs like this and a group of dots was also seen uh, there was also superimposition of paintings uh, the earliest is black then red and later white one of the interesting scenes uh, depicted at lakhudiar is of hand linked dancing human figures and uh, this and the sites of the, or the states of karnataka and andhra pradesh provided the granite rocks and that's why they were suitable canvases to the neolithic man for this painting we will look at the dancing scene which was found at lakhudiar so we can see here that the linkages of hand linked hand linked dancing figures figures can be seen like this in this picture hand linked figures in dancing mode are shown in fact this is a recurrent theme it also recalls the dancing scene from the lakhudia rocks paintings which is in uttarakhand and if we look at other painting uh, the feature which we were discussing the wavy lines see like this they uh, the wavy lines are present on the rocks and this is also one of the prominent feature of the early rock paintings which uh, is uh, found in lakhudiar the richest paintings which evolved are reported from the vindhya range of mp madhya pradesh and the cambodian extension into the up so the richest paintings are reported from vindhyan range of mp and cambodian extension into up these hills are fully paleolithic and mesolithic remains if we have to study uh, the two major sites of the excellent prehistoric paintings if we talk about excellent prehistoric examples of paintings then we will basically study the bimbetka caves uh, which is in the foothills of vindhya in mp and jogimara caves which is again in the madhya pradesh uh let's uh, let us look at the location this is bimbetka cave which is in the central india in madhya pradesh so why the very basic question comes in our mind that why early people settled around these areas because there was a only a reason because the these areas were are also full of forests plants fruits streams and creeks thus it is a perfect place for the stone age people to live now le, now we will begin the discussion about the bimbetka caves bimbetka caves uh, was the place where the early men occupied from 10 1 lakh bc to 1000 ad therefore it is regarded as an evidence of long cultural continuity because for most of the longest duration of time early people lived here it was discovered in 1957 by v s vaka nakar and there are more than 500 rock shelters in bimbetka caves but out of but nearly 400 painted rock shelters can be seen in five clusters it also contains one of the oldest paintings in india and a wall which is of the upper paleolithic duration the features of the paintings of three different phases are as follows big and uh, the first phase is upper paleolithic period in upper paleolithic period the paintings are linear representations in mainly colors like green and dark red of huge him animal figures such as bisons tigers elephants rhinos 
mostly they are filled with geometric patterns and the green paintings are of dances and red ones are of hunters so there was also a color distinction in upper paleolithic period of bimbetka caves that green colors green paintings were used to represent the dances and red color was used to represent the hunters if we talk about the mesolithic period art the features of mesolithic period art is as that the largest number of paintings belong to this period only mesolithic period and the themes multiply but the paintings were small in size in this in the mesolithic uh, period art the hunting was a predominant scene found and hunters in groups armed with barbed spears and sticks arrow, arrows and bows were seen they also used to traps and snares they under traps and snares used to catch animals can be seen in the some paintings mesolithic people also loved to point animals so these were these are the features in the mesolithic period art and in some pictures also animals are changing men and in others they are being changed by the hunter men also the animals painted in naturalistic style and humans were depict, depicted in stylistic manner the what what was the position of the women the women was also visible in the paintings and women are painted in both nude and clothed the the community dances were also prominent and it was a common theme the a sort of family life can also be seen in some paintings now let's move to chalcolithic period art the chalcolithic period art is also known as copper age art the paintings of this period what actually reveals it they reveal they reveals the association contact and mutual exchange of requirements of the cave dwellers of the area with settled agricultures the paintings of the period reveal that the cave dwellers actually exchanged exchanged with the settled agricultural communities of the malwa plateau of the malwa plateau in the paintings pottery pottery and metal tools can be seen also the what are the similarities with rock paintings the similarities are common motifs like uh, rock cross has squares and lattices and difference with rock paintings are vividness and vitality of older periods this disappeared from these paintings now we will look uh, now we can see here in the figure that uh, animal is chasing a man and man is hunting animals in this the animals are painting in right uh, red color now we will look at the general features of prehistoric paintings and this will be basically on the study of vimbetka paintings in the vimbetka paintings they used colors and it included various shades of white yellow orange red brown green and black but out of these colors there were only two colors were favorite and they were white and red the paints used by the people were made by the grinding various colored rocks how they created paints or colors they grinded colored rocks and got a color the red color actually they got from the hematite and they got green from a green colored rock called chalcedony chalcedony so this is important that they got the red color from hematite and green color from chalcedony the white was a very probably the for favorite color after red and it was obtained from limestone most probably they also used some sticky substances like animal fat or gum or resin so that they mix with uh, rock powder and then water they also used brushes and the brushes were brushes were made up of plant fiber and uh, it is also believed that 
the these colors remain thousand of years because because of the chemical reaction of the oxide presents on the surface of rocks how the painting survived or how the color survived for uh, for so many thousand of years because there was a chemical reaction of the oxide present on the surface of rocks paintings were found both from the occupied and unoccupied caves and if we look at the bimbetka in bimbetka we can see that nearly 20 layers of paintings from one or top of another it also shows the gradual development of the human being from period to period and so uh, the use of there was also the use of many geometrical patterns they used to draw they used to represent in quite a different in a geometrical manner and the scenes of mainly hunting and socio economical and social life of the people were depicted and now as i did, as i discussed that the most important colors were red and white so this is the figure of bimbetka cave and which is in mp so we have finished the prehistoric rock paintings let us look at the uh, things what we have finished till now we look at we studied or we understand the meaning of prehistoric times Pre after that uh, we studied about the prehistoric periods their division and we divided the paintings and drawings into three different periods categories then we start we studied paleolithic age art and paleolithic is divided into three parts lower middle and upper and basically we had to study the upper paleolithic is because we have not any evidence of the from the lower or middle paleolithic age and uh, then we studied the various location in india and the sites of early rock paintings paintings after that we studied the various ages or various period like uh, we studied the features of the paleolithic the features of the early paintings after that the we studied uh bimbetka caves in detail and the details of the paintings in bimbetka caves because basically these uh, created uh, or these represented a very proficient paintings in india so like this we have completed the chapter 1 of fine arts of class 11 ncert and we will come with the next chapter in this series and this is all for very important for competitive examinations thank you guys for listening thanks again